Sit outside of the weather deck, meteorologist Peter Hall joins us. And uh, Peter, an important week, you know, so many kids off from school this week, for example. So families trying to figure out how to use the outdoor time to maximize the fun. That's a good point, Matt. Plus, people are traveling around, especially as we're getting closer to many of the holidays happening next. Well, nice rebound today, but we've got some more changes ahead. First off, after some sunshine and warmer weather, it does look a little bit threatening, but at least in the short term, like the next hour or two, nothing worse than some sprinkles, although we do have some rain ahead. So let's talk about all those changes, about what's new and what's next. Well, first thing is, it will be changeable, sky-wise and temperature-wise, just like it has been over the past few days. In terms of anything notable, well, yes, we'll get a little bit of rain tonight and tomorrow morning, but we've got to carefully watch late Wednesday into Wednesday evening. We have a new renewed threat for showers and storms with a small chance that some of those thunderstorms over parts of upstate New York could become severe. The weekend weather, now we're talking about obviously a holiday weekend coming up here, looks like we should be rather quiet, which of course is good news for anybody that's going to enjoy that. Well, tracking temperatures, even just the last few days, what a roller coaster. If you remember, Saturday was 73. That was the high. Then the high on Sunday was 38. And now the high today was at least 68. Wow, what a huge swing. And it looks like tomorrow we're closer to 50 down again. And then we'll go up to near 70 Wednesday. And then we're down to 44 for Good Friday. So, yeah, you wait one day and, boy, things change in a hurry. You remember on Friday when there were a lot of severe thunderstorms and tornado damage? Well, it is possible that another repeat performance may happen in a similar situation and in a similar spot to what happened on Friday over the Midwest. Portions of southeastern Iowa, northwestern Illinois, as well as around parts of Missouri and Arkansas have that potential, especially Tuesday night. This could be a nocturnal situation. Why am I talking about this for central New York? Well, on Saturday, there were a few reports of severe weather damage, especially in western New York and a couple in central New York. Well, it looks like the threat for wind damage, just like what we had Saturday, the highest risk will be in western New York and the far western Finger Lakes with a small chance at some wind damage in central New York. With it being spring, our soils are pretty muddy and, and pretty wet, even though we haven't had a lot of snow to melt. So there is a small chance also for some flash flooding Wednesday. We're talking especially late afternoon and Wednesday night. Anyway, a bit of light rain is over our area tonight, perhaps a, a smidge that's a little steadier while you're sleeping. It's still a band of some rain tomorrow morning before it tapers off to either just cloud cover or some drizzle. Instead of a high in the upper 60s, I think we'll be in the upper 40s to lower 50s, unless you're watching us from Ithaca southward, where it'll be warmer. Wednesday, clouds, passing shower, thunderstorm, and then we've got to watch late in the day and again Wednesday night for two separate lines of showers and storms. Upper 60s to near 70 with a small chance at either some isolated flash flooding or some damaging wind. Early rain, then 59 and falling with some sun. We've mentioned 44 Friday. If you were wondering about the weekend, it's chilly to start, but well, Easter Sunday afternoon is back close to the upper 50s to near 60, and more importantly, we're dry with some sun. Stanley Law Sky Watch, yes, it is threatening, but just a few sprinkles in the short term. But remember, tonight through tomorrow morning, we do have some new rain coming our way. Now back inside.